All right, so in, I believe, less than 12 hours from now, the AGL Dokkan Fest Transforming Trunks uh, will be dropping on the global side of the game. So in today's video, I want to quickly break down basically everything you guys need to know about this release from the banner to the unit details, the side unit Goku, the new category, his animations, and all that good stuff to hopefully help you guys decide whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned dragon stones to try and pull him. All right, so uh, with that said, let's just jump right into it. And before we talk about the banner or the unit itself, let's pop over to the official Dokkan Twitter page and watch his animations. So I'm going to pause my music here and let's full screen this, turn up the volume just a little bit and enjoy. から Okay, so there you go guys, those are the animations for both the AGL Trunks as well as the um, Fizz Heart Virus Goku. I keep calling him Heart Disease Goku, <laughs> but uh, either way, yeah, we got the side unit Goku as well as the main Dokkan Fest Trunks, and uh, I think their animations look great. I mean, technically, like, visually speaking, I feel like they're definitely not on par with some of the animations we've seen recently, like for the anniversary units, right? The uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta, or the God Boys, or the Kaken Goku, created Vegeta, so on and so forth. And not quite on that level, but as far as compared to like most other Dokkan Fest units, these are very clean. And um, on top of that, for me personally, um, I think it's even a little bit more special just because when Trunks appear for the first time, I've told this story before, but when Trunks appear for the first time, um, and then just like went Super Saiyan, like it was nothing, and sliced the crap out of Vegeta, or sorry, <laughs> sliced the crap out of Mecha Frieza, I was like, yo, this guy's a badass, man. And that instantly made me a Trunks fan, and uh, this is literally that moment in the show, right? So, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this unit. Uh, I'm pretty excited for this unit. This, these animations definitely have special meaning to me, and, uh... There you go. So let's move on to the banner now, which I'm sure you guys are very curious about. So this is the banner that released on JP a few months ago. Actually, I think it came out in October. So it's been like five months since he released on JP. And if the banner were to remain exactly the same as it was on JP when it drops on global, then let's be honest, it's not the most exciting banner. It's really kind of kind of bad but but we know for a fact that there will be at least one replacement um and that would be the agl kid gohan because he was just featured on the androids banner right the uh, tech androids banner he was right i think so i think so so it was recently featured on global there's a very low chance they'll keep him again for this banner and what that means to me is that they will be putting the STR Super Vegeta in the AGL Gohan spot. Now, this is not by no means a confirmation. But this is by no means guaranteed. I'm just speculating. But it just makes sense to me since he was supposed to be on the... Like, the Vegeta was supposed to be on the Android banner. But because the release order was kind of weird, um, you know, on global, 
uh, they had to remove him, right? But now, since it's been a couple banners since Vegeta's release, he should be put back on this banner. So, uh, if that is the case, if Kid Gohan gets replaced by the STR Super Vegeta, then this banner is pretty awesome because Trunks is a beast. You guys know Super Vegeta is a monster and uh, the new Goku is good as well. And aside from those guys, uh, I would say the Super Saiyan Kid Goten and Trunks is still very good. They put up some very impressive numbers as far as damage goes and defensively, um, they're not as consistent as you would like sometimes, but they can be pretty good defenders as well. And then uh, the Tech Trunks is actually still a really good defender on longer events because of his defense stacking. Other than that, his you know leader skill allows him to be a pretty versatile uh, leader for a super type team. And then for the Zamasu, um, he still hits hard. So, so, so there's that. Uh, otherwise, yeah, he, he hasn't aged as well in my opinion as the Trunks. And this Int Goku Black is just bad. Um, <laughs> it's Goku Black, I gotta be honest, man, he does not really inspire a lot of uh, confidence, uh, both offensively and defensively, he's just not that good right now, so hopefully that easy is coming um, in the near future. So yeah, as a whole, Banner, not the best, but if STR Super Vegeta is the replacement, then it becomes really good. So assuming STR Super Vegeta is here, along with the Trunks and, and these guys, I would give this Banner like a 7.5 maybe even an 8 out of 10, because you have two of the arguably like top 5 TURs in the game, right? Um, if the Kid Gohan is replaced by someone else, that's kind of hard to say, like this banner with the Kid Gohan, I would give like a 6.5, you know? So it's kind of hard to rate the banner when we don't know exactly what it's going to look like when it comes to global, but I'm pretty hopeful that uh, Vegeta will be there. So we'll see, but that's the banner. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. Do you, do you think it's a good banner or do you think it, it's pretty trash like a lot of people seem to believe? So from there, we're going to take a look at the Trunks and Goku now. And uh, the leader skill for this Trunks is Entrusted Will, which is the new category or Android slash Cell Saga. Q plus 3, HP plus 130%, attack and defense plus 170%. Now, the Entrusted Will category is right here, and uh, according to the Dokkan Wiki, and this is not the official explanation, it's just what they think it is, it consists of characters who will have, wait, hold on, consists of characters whose will has been entrusted by another person. <laughs> okay, so, um, it's a little bit ambiguous, I would say. It's a bit of a ambiguous explanation, to say the least, but with that said, we have Trunks as the leader, the, the one leader in the game right now. And then uh, if you took if you take a look at some of these units, I mean, it's actually a pretty, it's a pretty great category. Um, we got like AGL UI Goku, AGL Gohan, Tech Gohan, Int Gohan, uh, Int Super, Super Saiyan Vegeta, sorry, Super Saiyan Goku. We got the Exchange Goku and Vegeta, the uh, Fizz Trunks, who has an easy A on JP right now. Um, you know, Bardock is really good too, actually, LR Bardock with his EZA. And we got some good options for TURs as well. So while it's by no means like the best category I've seen, it is a very good category. It's far from the worst category, that's for sure. Like it's, um, yeah, it's quite good. <laughs> it's quite good, I would say. Um, so there you go, man. That is the interesting will category. You can definitely build like a nice combination with the, uh, Android slash Cell Saga as well, and this guy actually is the best Android slash Cell Saga leader in the game because the only other leader we really have is the Int LR Cell, right? And Int LR Cell is only 150%, whereas this guy is 170% to attack and defense. So, um, yeah, just a very solid leader skill in my opinion. You can build some pretty good teams uh, with Entrusted Will and also Android slash Cell Saga. And moving on from there, we have his super attack, which raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 100%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when attacking. Great chance of launching up to two additional attacks. Launches another, launches another additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack every time the character attacks three times in battle up to once within the turn. 
Now, if you guys noticed, my voice sounds kind of weird. It's because uh, I, have a, I have a throat thing. I don't really know what it is, to be honest. I think it's strep throat, which I get like almost every single year. It's, it's really annoying. It makes my voice weird. It hurts my throat, but it's not a big deal. We'll get through it. Don't worry about me. And uh, the active skill is the transformation into Super Saiyan, and it also stuns a single targeted enemy and seals that enemy's super attack for one turn. And it can be activated. Uh, uh, wait, hold on. It can be activated performing six or more attacks in battle once only. So this is worded kind of weird. So I was kind of confused for a second. Um, but yeah. So after you perform six or more attacks in battle, then you can activate the active skill and transform into. Super Saiyan Trunks, and you also stun and seal an enemy for one turn. The links are Messenger from the Future, Cold Judgment, Royal Lineage, Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle, and categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Vegeta's Family, Android Slash Cell Saga, Bond and Master Disciple, Saviors, Battle of Wits, Super Saiyans, Transformation Boost, and Entrusted Will. And uh, that is the base Trunks. Now, once you transform into Super Saiyan Trunks, Let's take a look at what he does. So his super attack becomes greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage. Passive attack and defense plus 100% and great chance to perform a critical hit. Performs a critical hit once only plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack. Plus an additional attack plus 50% when the target enemy is in attack down status or is in defense down status. Plus an additional attack plus 50% when the target enemy is stunned or the target enemy super attack is sealed and high chance to stun the attack enemy for two turns when all allies attacking in the same turn are androids slash cell saga category characters and as far as his links go they stay the same except he does get the super saiyan link because of course he is a super saiyan and uh, the categories are the same but his additional boosts are calculated separately so he's actually getting Attack and defense plus 300% when performing a super attack. He gets attack plus 400% when the target enemy is in attack down or defense down status. And he's getting 500% attack when the target enemy is stunned or the target enemy super attack is sealed. So, um, yeah, at his max potential, when you have all these status impairments on the enemy, he's getting up to 500% attack. And also getting crits all the time. Um, that's why I say, man, this dude is a monster. He hits super, super hard. And his defense is um, definitely nothing to scoff at. He will have some really good defense when he supers. He's definitely a better slot 2 unit than a slot 1 unit. But uh, yeah, there you go, man. That is the AGL transforming trunks. Um, an absolute beast of a unit. And now let's take a look at the side unit Goku. Before we go, we got leader skill, turtle school, category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 130%, super attack greatly raises attack and causes immense damage with a high chance of sacrificing 7% HP. And his passive is attack and defense plus 100% raises attack and defense by up to 200%. The more HP remaining, the greater the stats boost. Key plus five, chance of performing a critical hit plus 59%, reduces damage received by 59% and a 59% chance of performing an additional super attack for 5 turns from start of turn. Reduces damage received by 59% when HP is 59% or less plus an additional defense plus 59% starting from the 6th turn from the start of battle. So as you can see a lot of 59s um, but basically what you gotta know is he is getting a massive, massive attack and defense boost at full HP, 300% in fact, attack and defense. And then for the first five turns, he's getting 59% damage reduction, 59% chance for an additional super, and also 59% chance for a critical, and also key plus five. And then beyond that, if you're below 59% HP, then he still gets the 59% damage reduction and uh, also the 59% defense boost as well. So um, yeah, for a side unit, he puts up big numbers for sure. Big attack, big tanking, or great tanking, I guess. And uh, the only downside, of course, is the sacrificing of HP, but 
I guess it kind of makes sense because it is, you know, the heart virus Goku where he's dying, basically. So there you go, guys. That is the Fizz Goku. And uh, that is basically everything that we wanted to talk about or I wanted to talk about in this video. We went through the Goku details, the uh, new category, Interested Will, which is very good. The uh, Trunks, who is amazing. The banner, which could be very, very good, but it depends on who they replace certain characters with. Specifically, the Kid Gohan should definitely be replaced. And uh, the animations look amazing to me. Maybe not to some of you guys. Maybe it doesn't have the same meaning. But overall, just extremely clean animations, in my opinion. And uh, as far as my recommendation for... <laughs> Whether you guys should summon, I would hope that you are able to make your own decision based on the information that I've provided so far. But let's say, you know, you still need a little bit of uh, assistance in that area, then I would say do a couple of multis. You know, do like two or three multis. Definitely don't spend too much on this banner because we know there's a lot of other good stuff right around the corner, like the dual Dokkan Fest between um the kid boo and super saiyan 3 goku as well as saiyan day saiyan day is coming up there should be a new unit for that on both sides of the game so you might want to save a good amount of stones for that and of course the seventh anniversary so given the timing of this release i still think it should probably warrant a few multis for most people but i can't blame anybody for wanting to completely skip but if you are going to summon don't go too crazy. You know, a couple multis at most. And then call it a day. If you're pay to play, maybe just buy the tickets. There will be tickets available in the Baba shop. Or sorry, the uh, pack shop that you can purchase. So, um, yeah, there you have it, guys. That is my recommendation. Hopefully, this video helped you make that decision about whether to summon or not. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are planning to summon. And if so, then how many stones do you plan to spend? And as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.